What up, YouTube? Team Rivers here. Since this month, I've been doing my reviews for February films. I'm not only going to be doing um, reviews for films that, you know, I mainly like. I'm also doing my reviews for some of the worst movies in February to ever get February releases. And, oh boy, the worst thing to ever get February release has got to be the Fifty Shades movies. So, here's my review for not one, but three of the Fifty Shades films. Alright. Now, I... I, of course, saw all three Fifty Shades movies in theaters because, you know, I, I was bored, so... I, uh, so, yeah. I'm always interested in seeing new erotic movies and, you know, Fifty Shades, which is a Twilight fan fiction, so... Yeah, anyway. Now, if you guys don't really know much about the plot... Uh, in the first Fifty Shades, which got premiered back on February 13th, 2015, directed by Sam Taylor Johnson, you got uh, Dakota Johnson, who plays uh, Anastasia Steele, who uh, steps in for her uh, sick roommate. You interviewed this uh, businessman named Christian Gray, portrayed by Jamie Dornan, uh, for their uh, captain's paper. But things take a um, drastic turn when... Uh, when he exposes her to his, uh, let's say, sex dungeon? Yeah. And it gets crazy throughout. I mean, these movies are just... You know, the first one maybe wasn't as bad, but it was still pretty awful. You know, uh, the performances by Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan wasn't so great, which is pretty... It's a shame because Jamie Dornan is actually a much better actor than... Than he uh, gave credit for in this film, because you know I've seen I've been seeing Jamie Dornan do other stuff as, since Fifty Shades uh, ended. You know he was just in that movie on uh, my dinner with Hervé. He was terrific in that. I just saw him Bob and Star go to visit Del Mar. He's great in that. I mean I think Jamie Dornan is one heck of an actor. To me I think he's a bit like Robert Pattinson. You know how people say oh Robert Pattinson is that Twilight guy and whatnot. Jamie, and sadly, people are mainly saying that, oh, Jamie Dorn is just that Fifty Shades guy. Nope, Jamie Dorn is just one heck of an actor. I think this guy, he's going to have an Oscar on mental down a lot. i tell you right now. And sad, I'm really happy that Fifty Shades ended, not because the movie is bad, but so that way the actors could do better stuff. Since the Fifty Shades film ended, Dakota Johnson has been doing pretty, some pretty good stuff. Her new movie, Our Friend, was pretty good. Uh, she just had, um, oh yeah, that Peanut Butter Falcon movie she was in was pretty good. Uh, that one with Tracy, um, Alice Ross last year was, uh, I forgot the name of it, but, uh, that was pretty good. Anyway, so now, of course, you know, uh, after Fifty Shades of Grey, we get to Fifty Shades Darker. Which, uh, yeah, once again, um, they're having another, uh, chance of, uh, being part of the sex dungeon, and yeah, it... This time around, for some reason, the uh, Fifty Shades sequel ends up being directed by Jane Foley, who directed one of the best movies in the 90s, uh, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. How he went from a film like that to this is beyond me, but hey, people gotta eat, you know? Then, of course, we end up getting to Fifty Shades Free, which this time now, uh, Anastasia and uh, Gray are now, you know, getting married. There's, like, um, a boss who's, like, uh, or, I guess, say... Um, creepy to uh, Anastasia, so he's a bit stalking her. Then, um, the sequel, then, of course, in uh, Fifty Shades Darker, uh, even, for some reason, Kim Basinger said yes to this, um, to the film. So, she plays, like, this girl who, uh, this, a uh, woman who ends up, uh, who's been smell with, like, has been a smell with, um, Christian Grey since, like, he was a kid, and pretty creepy right there. But anyway, yeah, the movie, these movies are just god-awful. How the heck does these actors even say yes to these films? I mean, come on, look at some of the actors. Here's some of the actors who are actually um, involved with these, besides Dornan and uh, Johnson. Ken Basinger, Rita Orr, who, by the way, was actually probably the better part of the movie. I, got, I quite like uh, Rita Orr in this. Uh, Eric Johnson, Bella Heathcote, uh, Luke Grimes, Alois Mumford, uh, Marsha Gay Hahn, why did she say yes to this? Uh, Matt Martini, why he said yes to that? Uh, Superman himself, Tyler Oakland, Bruce Altman, Jennifer Eel, Robin Lee, Levitz, uh, Victor Russock, Hugh Dancy. I mean, why the heck does these actors, you know, sign off for these movies? It's beyond me. I know the uh, books are popular, you know, uh, 
they just Twilight fan fiction and whatnot. These movies just don't make sense at all. Like, what the heck? I mean, pretty much Christian Grey treats uh, poor Anastasia like like crap, and she still goes with her. What the heck, Anna? You're you're better than that girl. But uh, yeah, I was gonna do like my review for these movies separate, but I really don't want to spend a whole hour to talk about each one of them. So I'm just doing my reviews and uh, just talk about all of them in uh one video. So. Yeah, I mean, the Fifty Shades movies, are, a lot of, all of them pretty much also got Razzie Awards. Uh, I believe lots of them actually won some, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, heck, believe it or not, Dakota Johnson and uh, Jamie Dorn didn't even like each other uh, on set, believe it or not. So, yeah, that's how serious that um, that was. Uh, for some reason, Danny Elfman said he has to do the music for this. Oh, I will say, the, music, the songs are actually... And music is actually pretty solid. That's probably one of the only better part about the Fifty Shades movies. But these things are not romance. I mean, I do like me a good erotic movie. Come on, I like Nine, um, nine and a Half. Uh, there's some other erotic movies I do quite like. Uh, like Tango in Paris is pretty good. But what the heck did they do with this thing? I mean, we need better erotic movies down line. Not, not these crap, um, crap. But, yeah, thankfully... You know, Fifty Shades ended in 2017. Uh, oh, 2018 it ended. Boy. Only, uh, there was only three films here, and they finally ended. So, thank God. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, I'm one of the few folks who likes Twilight, by the way. But the Fifty Shades movies, they're a totally different story. I mean, since then, we've also got some uh, rip-off of Fifty Shades. Like those after movies, those are, who what the heck are those, but, you know, those are like a toned down Fifty Shades, but, uh, yeah, I mean, all the Fifty Shades movies are, for some reason, on Hulu, so, if you're even into them, go, I guess, go watch it, but, yeah, I mean, the Fifty Shades movies are just, they're not my cup of tea, I was, yeah, um, I, I even, I literally actually use my AMC subs card for these movies, um, the, so, yeah. So, lucky for me, I didn't have, um, pay much of a set. So, y'all love A-list. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen the Fifty Shades movies? If so, which of it? Were you a fan of them? Were you not a fan of them? Out of all the Fifty Shades movies, which one was your favorite? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that button for more notifications. This is your